Good evening and welcome to Expose Domestic Violence. I'm Josh White. And I'm Cody. Tonight we have an exclusive special on the talk of the media, Tony Veach. We have a panel in to talk their opinions of the case about Tony Veach. We have Alison O'Doherty in from Women's Refuge, or more commonly known as Wives with Strifes. And Pastor Bruce Oliver here on behalf of the Destiny Church. Now, to any of our viewers out there, if you have any opinions on tonight's show, please email them during the show to this address. We'll be reading some out later. And now we have an interview from an anonymous girlfriend basher that we interviewed the other day. Now, first question, why? Why did you do what you did? Well, it was um, all spur of the moment, really. Um, me and Kristen were just talking, um, uh, Kirsten were just talking on the bed and um, having arguments. And, um, yeah, it all, it all just led to another, really. Um, we couldn't get what we wanted to say, agreeing with each other and um, everything. Actually, it was all just a flash, really. And then um, I cracked and... Um, what can I say? I'm very, I'm very regretful of what happened um, when I did crack, and I don't think I'll ever forgive myself for it. But um, it happened, and um, really, there's no excuse or for what I did. So, so what exactly provoked it? Was it a built up over time, or or a sudden thing? I think actually, it's a bit of both. Um, it was it was a gradual build up of our of our, us not being us around each other we're arguing and um we're on the rocks really um it was a case of everything was an argument and um yeah, it was a, just a power thing really and then the whole incident in the room with me and Kirsten um that was a flash between my eyes that was a that happened quick and yeah, no excuse really. So, you've com well, you haven't committed suicide, you've attempted to. How close did you come in these attempts? Pretty close, you know. It's about as close as you can get really. Um, and you can't really know what it's like. Um, you can't, I can't, it's indescribable. You can't relate to what I was going through until you've actually been in my state of mind um, it's not something I can compare to um, it's just yeah I was pretty close I, mm. Mm, I can imagine well three times enough with the epic fails have you thought about the toaster in the bath idea I hear it's 100% guaranteed um, no really didn't cross my mind but um actually it's a good idea i might i might give it a go now there's been a lot of talk in the public and the media about the tony veach case lately personally what is your favorite tony veach joke probably the one about the all blacks um me being the next all blacks goal kicker um yeah it was a bit of originality yeah <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. But for our viewers out there, what exact brand of shoe were you wearing when your foot came into contact with the small of your girlfriend's back and you made her projectile down a flight of stairs? I was wearing um, a pair of slip-on World Industries. And do you have them with you now? I haven't worn them since. I haven't worn them since. Thank you. Well, Josh, what a tragic interview that was. Um, really shows a man crumbling to his foundations. Indeed, Cody. In fact, but I believe he is truly remorseful. Yes. Um, yeah, there was a hint there of very remorseful and yeah, very regrettable man. But um, anyway, we'll move on to um, our first guest. That's what they thought. Yeah, Alison. So first question for you, Alison, on this interview. Um, do you think what this man has done is right? No. No man should ever lay his hands on a woman. Do you see women pushing men downstairs? Not even in passion. <laughs> anyway, um, I think we'll move on from that. She's I think we should. quite uprised about that. Um, but based on what you've just seen, do you believe he's truly remorseful like I do? 
Remorseful. Do you even know the meaning of remorseful? Do men even know the meaning of remorseful? Well, there was a hint of remorseful in his eyes. Do you not agree? There was no. He was sorry. In him. He, he was sorry. He was. Anyway, anyway, moving on. What punishment would you have imposed if you were the courts? I'd put him in the electric chair. A bit harsh, don't you think? No, oh, that's very harsh. I think um, for pushing someone down a flight of stairs. Um, it's normally um, used when you Kill cause someone. mass genocide, not push someone downstairs. We're on to Pastor Bruce Oliver, though, from the Destiny Church. Uh, Bruce, what is your view on this whole media circus and debacle that has erupted since the case ma was made public? Well, I do believe that the media itself had applied too much pressure to him. But as long as a man is making money, I do believe that it is okay. Very narrow-minded uh, views there, Bruce. Well, it is the view of the Destiny Church. <laughs> um, have you ever treated a woman in this way, Pastor? Have I ever treated a woman in this way? Only at anti-gay riots. Mm. It's not very correct, but um, anyway, what is your church's opinion on um, smashing wives or other women? I uh, have no comment. What do you mean by that? that? We, uh, I'm not obliged to speak for the church itself. I could only speak for myself. Okay, Bruce, that's enough from you. Thank you. Um, anyway, um, now we will go on to the next interview with Jono. Mm, a psychology expert, indeed. Yes, now this is an interview I had with Jono the other day, and we went inside what it would be like for Mr. Tony Veach and his struggle through this. So, yeah, let's take a look. Roll the interview. Hello, and um, I'm here now with um, Jono. Um, he is um, a student, uh, he's going for his Masters in Psychology and I'm here to interview Jono today on um, what he thinks um, it would be like to be inside Tony Beach um, through the last half year or so. Okay, so how would this whole incident have affected Mr. Beach mentally? Yeah, again luckily I'm not in Tony Beach's brain, but which is probably a place no one wants to be. Um, he's obviously experienced something very devastating. Um, he's lost his career um, and he's been publicly humiliated for the last um, year. And, but bad things happen to people all the time and and I think he'll get through it. He's got, um, by the sounds of things, a close family, which is really important for um, support through hard times and for recovery. And so I think he'll be okay. Um, yeah, I... I like, that's I guess all I have to say about that. It, it's not the first time anything bad's happened. And I think probably the the, the I mean, lots of people um, go through bad times, but probably just a public humiliation for him. And so he probably needs to get out of the 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 media spotlight for a while and lay low. And and once once the media moves on, I think he'll be all right. Now, what must go through a man's head to try and push himself? To suicide. Um, oh, there's, there's, I'm um, not sure. Probably suicide. Um, or a successful suicide obviously results in the loss of life, and and so you you've got to be pretty down about your your current life to want to lose it. And so, um, but there's other things um, such as learned helplessness, which involves people not feeling like they can control their environment or what's going on and that's probably something that he's experienced because a lot of this media um, hype is probably a little bit beyond his control and so he's feeling probably quite helpless at this at the time and which would drive could perhaps potentially lead somebody to suicide okay so if I wanted to replicate what Mr. Veach had done um, in terms of how he was thinking and his, yeah, everything like that. What state would I have to be in to replicate this? I don't know what he did mentally because all we know about is what's observable and what was observable was him kicking his girlfriend down the stairs, regrettably. Um, I think uh, uh, alcohol intoxication or, or some form of intoxication would probably lead you to such a mental state. Um, so... Blurb, don't don't abuse 